feels totally surreal to be honest, it's still not sinking in I don't think, um, but I'm so proud that the pudding I created is the winner. <laughs> so baking is my hobby, I do it all the time, try and practice and get really good um, and my friends are avid tasters of everything that I make and it was my friend Sammy who actually sent me the link to apply for the competition um, I just thought might as well go for it get my name in the hat, didn't think I'd go any further, made it to the final 50, made it to the final 5 and now my pudding has been chosen, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it was always going to be a trifle for me for my entry, um, a trifle is my family's signature dish um, and this particular trifle is a tribute to three women, it's my gran, my nan and the queen herself. So we've got lemon swiss roll at the bottom, we've got St Clement's jelly, lemon custard, amaretti biscuits, mandarin coolie and whipped cream and just the decorations on the top. It's a tribute to the three women because my gran taught me to bake, she taught me all the elements, everything from scratch. My nan's signature dish was always a trifle, we used to call her the queen of trifles. <laughs> and the queen had lemon posset at her wedding. So those flavours, amaretti biscuits are traditionally served with lemon posset, so it's all that, all in this dish. <laughs> So I'm hoping that everyone across the country is going to make this. I've made it really accessible, so for bakers you can make everything from scratch. For people who don't want to bake it from scratch, you can replace elements with shop-bought elements. You can make mini ones, make it in a mixing bowl, who, like, who cares? Like, let's just all make it how we want to make it. Um, and I hope people will serve it at their big jubilee lunch and it'll just be a really great to see everyone making the recipe.